Now let's head to graphical to test the queries and mutations for this. Let's insert a new row into the to-do's table similar to the one we tried out for the user's table. So insert to-do's objects be an array of objects. Let me give a title for the to-do. My first to-do and let me tag it to the user ID 1 which we created previously and return the affected rows as a response. As you can see we have got the response affected rows 1. So the to-do has been inserted into the database. Let's make a query to test this again. So the query will select the to-dos and the columns will be ID title is public is completed created at and user ID. Let's click on the play button to see the response matching structure of the query. As you can see some values have got default values set during the table creation such as is public, is, is completed and created at. Even though we didn't give the values during the mutation. Now let's change the query to a subscription to listen to changes on the to-do's table. Let me switch to the tab to insert a new row into the to-do's table. Let me say it's a second to-do and tag it to the user ID 1. If I switch back to the API Explorer, I can see that the new response has been reflected in the response structure. Great, now we have successfully completed basic data modeling for the app.